the wonderful Julie has asked that I talk about some of my craft projects. And I have a lot. Videos about craft projects are going to take forever to edit because I want to put pictures of the things. We're going to break these up by category. I'm just going to slide so I can put pictures over here. The first category of craft project we're going to talk about are costumes. Costumes are how I got into crafting when I was 13. I asked my mom if I could be Sailor Moon for Halloween and she said no because they don't sell that costume in stores and I said can we make it and she said maybe um my mom doesn't sew clothes but she knows how to use a sewing machine so uh, my mom taught me how to use a sewing machine and I very, very, very roughly put together my first costume, which was Sailor Neptune for Halloween. And yeah, I was 13 when I made that, and it's not very good at all. It was my introduction to sewing costumes. Since then, I've gotten a lot better. I sewed off and on throughout high school, but I was in school, I was focused on homework, so I didn't do a lot of sewing. My next project that I worked on was this dress from Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland. So, I bought like 60 yards of ribbon, sewed all the ribbon together, uh, patterned it out, and I made the dress. I also made the matching shoes. Following that, one of my friends asked me to make their Halloween costume for them. They wanted to be Little Sister from Bioshock. We couldn't find the fabric for this dress, so we had to find a similar fabric and then dye it and then put it all together so it has a very homemade quality to it. After a couple months of work, we made the dress and I still think it looks pretty cool. When I was in college, my friends learned that I made costumes and a lot of them asked me to make parts of costumes for them. One of them was uh, my favorite, which is this Alice dress from The Madness Returns. It's almost two circle skirts in one. The next big project happened when I decided for Christmas that everyone in my family was gonna get Jedi robes and then I decided, why stop at robes? I made the full Jedi outfit, modeled after Obi-Wan's look because he's my fave. The next big project I took on was the Painted Lady from Avatar The Last Airbender, and I gotta say, kinda nailed that one, followed by a dapper Ursula, more on the Ursula side than on the dapper side, so I told her if she designed it, I would try to make it, so she gave me a sketch, and... I turned out this. And one of my most recent projects that I did completely start to finish was Mother Gothel from Tangled. By the time this project came around, I'd already done a lot of other sewing and I'd gotten pretty good at making dresses. This Mother Gothel costume only took me about three days to finish. There are a lot of other costumes that I've contributed to over the years, but these are my big ones that I did completely start to finish and they're definitely the ones that I'm still the most proud of, even my very, very, very first Sailor Scout. I don't actually know how to sew properly. I've never like used a pattern. I've never taken any classes. I don't know the technical term for anything, but I sew. Um, I can figure out most things and I've gotten better over time. I am not a professional by any stretch of the imagination. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great April. Stay home, stay safe. I'll see you guys later.